Good morning, Shave Cadre. Handle Barber Dave here with another Barber Shop at Home Shave. Uh, we are going to do the full uh, shave today. And I wasn't sure uh, if I had done this before. I probably have on the other site. But uh, today, in going with Chad's theme, uh, and those of you that know me well know that uh, this shaving soap and this shaving company, in my opinion, is the best on the planet. And there is no equal period. Uh, and you know who that is, and that's Saponificio Varicino. Uh, I'm choosing the 70th today because it is probably the most, the freshest scent uh, that SV puts out. Uh, literally, when you're done with your shave, you feel like your skin itself is actually breathing. Um, the most recent um, limited edition in 2018 was Apuntia. Now, it is a very close second, and they keep battling back and forth as to who's the best. Uh, a couple of reasons why I think SV is the best company in the world. One, it's uh, based out of northern Italy, uh, and for those of you that know, Italy is like the shave mecca as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and uh, they compete with some rather uh, big players, including Parasso, um, Antica Barberia Cala, uh, Aqua de Parma, and I think that they supersede them uh, by leaps and bounds. Secondly, all of their products are naturally based. Even the alcohol in the aftershave splash is a plant-based alcohol. Now, that's got to be good for your skin. They, um, I'm fortunate enough to be acquainted with the owners, and they really care about their clients, and they care about the environment, and they care about uh, the type of items that you put on your face. Now, understand that SV does not just do uh, shaving type stuff. They do uh, shower and body washes. They do soaps. Uh, hand soaps, body soaps, lotions, beard care, um, pre-shave oils, post-shave oils, uh, as well as one of their biggest is laundry detergent. So they're uh, quite a big mid-sized company, uh, but they've been around since uh, the early 40s, 1945, and uh, they're just fantastic to deal with. They run their company as if it's a small artisan type company, although they're rather large. So to me, if you have not tried uh, Sepulficio Veracino, uh, SV for short, do so. Uh, they've got a number of different flavors. In fact, they listen very closely to their uh, clientele, uh, especially if you're like me and a bulldog and you bug them like crazy. And they recently came out with an eau de parfum uh, called Kubebe. And um, it is along with a soap and an aftershave and everything else. And hopefully I'll have that here in a few weeks and I will be reviewing it completely. But all the sounds of it sound like it could uh, give 70th a run for its money, even above Opuntia. So um, that's what we're doing today. Now, as far as shaving with uh, SV, especially the 70th, uh, it was a um, anniversary edition a few years back, and I stocked up on it just in case. But today we're going to be using, uh, once again, the 70th anniversary shave soap, which is a hard puck soap. We're going to be shaving with the queen, or the CV Helgestrand uh, MK32. Uh, this thing is a wolf in sheep's clothing. It's very nice. Uh, for our brush, we'll be using the SV, Sepulvicio Veracino Artisan 2.0 uh, in faux ivory. This is a very heavy brush, and with a uh, high mountain Manchurian uh, badger knot. Uh, along with what I said about the company being the best as far as the shave products, I think they're actually the best when it comes to brushes as well. Uh, I don't know where they source their knots out of Europe, but they're fantastic. Um, I would say my top two brush makers or top three would be um, SV first. Uh, Paladin and Sorrentino are about tied, so those are my three tops. But we're using that. This has been soaking for a few minutes. Now, the best way to get the good lather off of SV uh, is you, um, per their website, and it works really well, is you put a thin veil of hot, hot water um, across the soap and let it sit. Now, what is a thin veil? I've played with it from a teaspoon to a larger tablespoon, and I think about a tablespoon is about enough, and just let that sit. And then with the brush uh, somewhat uh, dried out, uh, you'll build your ladder. Uh, Post-shave, I'll be using my Lucky Tiger aftershave salve, and of course, uh, my hot towel treatment. So we'll go ahead and get the lather going. And what I do is, if I don't know if you can see this, but it builds uh, kind of a dark 
color after it's been soaking, you pour that all into the brush and you don't add any water at this stage. Now I'll add some water probably once I get it on my face, but I'll usually load for about uh, 25 to 30 seconds, maybe sometimes less. And I basically am just do using the tips and then I will actually dig in, turn and pump a few times to get some of that uh, soap up into the brush. And these brushes really release their, uh, their lather very, very well. And just that load alone will give me enough uh, to do the three pass shave very easily. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and get set up uh, for my uh, hot towel. Now I'll usually take the extra soap that is in or on the puck and just spread that in and really push it into the skin and you know I'm gonna say my favorite word yes the sebaceous glands the oil glands will start to produce sebum and that in itself is the oil that will lubricate the whiskers and make this hopefully a wonderful shave. So pretty much you're done with the soap at this point. And I'll go ahead and put in my hot towel. Now, for that barbershop shave at home, although it does not replace a barbershop shave, nor should it ever, not that I'm biased because I'm a barber, but um, you want to make sure that your towel's hot. And you can do that by either soaking in hot water or what I do is I put it in the microwave for about three minutes and that gives it a nice steamy quality to it and I only leave it on for a few seconds and then I'll go right into face lathering Now, one thing it does not say on uh, SV's website is to add water while you're lathering. Now, the initial instructions as far as the veil of water on the puck um, would depend on whether, you know, obviously uh, when you start building your lather, whether you're doing it in a uh, mug or on your face. I find that adding just a tad bit of water in drops, like I do with almost all my other soaps, really builds this lather. And oh, the 70th is just amazing. It literally comes alive in my opinion. Now, I realize I'm biased to uh, SV soaps, but the proof is in the pudding, in my opinion. But you don't need to add a lot of water because you do have quite a bit that was in the puck already. Now, I'll also understand that the the formulary in the 70th is a couple of notches beneath the newer formula. And I know that the Kubebe is actually going to have even a newer formulary that makes the shave even better, which I find hard to believe because I don't know how you can make this uh, any better. Uh, it's just, it's phenomenal stuff. So we're gonna do a three pass shave today. And basically I always road map myself out cause I'm a lather flinger and uh, get everything of where I want. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start. Once again, uh, this has been stropped 25 on English linen, 25 on leather. And then what we'll do is we'll strop 10 times on each uh, between each pass.
Now the MK32, again, is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Not to give life to an inanimate object, but... With the collection of CV Helga strands that I have, uh, this one is the best shaver, but it's also the worst shaver, meaning that some of the biggest, <coughs> excuse me, injuries that I've ever had in straight shaving have come from this young lady right here. Swedish steel is hard, therefore it, uh, it can be tough to hone. <coughs> but once you get the edge on this blade, uh, a little bit of maintenance is all she needs. As most of you know, I was recently in a car accident. Got rear-ended at 45 miles an hour, so doing this portion of the shave hurts because I do have some pain in my neck and my shoulder. But it's slowly getting better. We hope. So that's it for pass one. And literally, as I said, I do not know what it is about the 70th anniversary soap, but it is, it makes your face feel like it's breathing in its own. So we'll go ahead and strop this, excuse me, for uh, 10, 10 laps. and we'll go ahead and get set up for the second pass. The one thing I do notice with SV is once you add the water, it's really not necessary to add any more, although I have never broken the lather. It just keeps getting better as you go, and it keeps building. I could probably load a lot less and have it still be just as good, but what fun is there in that? That means i got to buy more, which I like doing anyways. Okay, pass number two.
I should also mention that this uh, SVMK32 uh, is a full hollow. Okay, we'll go ahead and strop one last time for the last pass. Now what I do, as most of you know, is prior to the, uh, or actually after the shave, is I actually will run the blade on a trans Arkansas stone, the green one, which is the finest besides the black. And I'll usually run 25 or 30 laps on uh, honing oil, which is actually a water-based. And then I'll run it for about well, as many laps as it takes before it sticks onto the trans arc, and then I'll ho or I'll strop another 2550, and that sets her up for the uh, for the next shave. I usually at the last uh, pass I'll add just a tad bit of water, just to slick it up, as I stated on some of my other videos. But as I said, the SV doesn't really need it. And another thing about SV is the lather really does not thin out. As a matter of fact, that's that's it. I've got one more, maybe a uh, cleanup pass, which is just a little bit of lather. And then uh, and I'll show you how much lather is left over. Uh, so you never have to worry about it. And really, it's just, I can't say enough about the SV products or the company itself. Yes, indeed, she kissed me. A little weeper there. That's probably to remind me that I have not used her in quite some time. Yeah, I know, it's weird. I'm giving her a personality. But trust me, those of you that uh, straight shave, especially with Helger strands, know... that they do indeed have a life of their own. Plus, it's a real convenient way for me to blame the razor rather than my stupidity in uh, my shaving technique.
And basically, for those of you that don't know, I have a rating system. BBS is Baby Butt Smooth. I have a rating system called DSBBS, which is Dolphin Smooth Baby Butt Smooth. And then I have 10 levels of that, and then a G, which means grail shave, which means the shave unlike anything. Right now, a little bit of cleanup, and I think we're going to be at that DSBBS G10. So remember, so I have a little bit of cleanup, but this is how much lather is left, and there's probably even a little bit more, just to give you an idea. Um, beautiful lather. Now, unfortunately, it's gonna go down the sink, but if you have a few friends that wanna come over and you wanna shave them, go ahead and do that, you have plenty. Okay, just a couple of cleanup passes. Now, believe it or not, when I'm doing my cleanup pass, if I do have an area that I'm having trouble with, as most of you know, I do buffing. I'm trying to hit it from every angle. Then I'll take some of the residual lather, scrape it down and then come up, and that's usually my final. But every once in a while, and I'll literally perpendicular the blade. And I don't recommend doing that because if you touch your skin before you start moving, you're gonna slice yourself. So I would not recommend that. Okay, so that's it for the actual shave itself. Now, I probably will not give it the DSBBS G10 rating today because of that little weeper. So I'll probably just call it uh, Dolphin Smooth Baby Butt Smooth Grail because it is a fantastic shave. Lucky Tiger. And this is what I'll finish up uh, the cold towel, which you should be getting in a barbershop as well. And this will act as a rinse and just nice sealing up the face. Then a final rinse. And tremendous uh, post shave feel. And the good news is we're not even done yet. Uh, using the 70th anniversary aftershave splash. It's kind of an aftershave milk. You don't need a lot. This is the original bottle. In fact, they don't even make this cap anymore. Um, but you don't need a lot. Three or four drops is all you need. I don't know if you can see that, but that's about all you need. And once again, it's plant-based alcohol. And it just... You have to try it for yourself. I, I literally think... that it makes it feel like your skin is breathing on its own. I know that sounds goofy, but that's how the 70th feels. And it's such a wonderful citrus. Uh, and it's not cologne either. It's orange and lemons and limes and uh, blossoms. And it's just, it's probably the freshest scent that I have uh, ever, ever tried. Uh, that's why it keeps being the top of the, the list. And as a matter of fact, I'll usually use that a little bit as an EDT. Um, 
afterwards because up until this point, uh, SV had not made any uh, EDTs or Uda Parfums. Now that they've got Kubebe, I'm going to see how that matches with this. But I hope, and Marco and Alessandra, I hope you're listening, that uh, they will make the, EDT, the EDPs in all the sense eventually. Um, because literally, if they do the 70th in a um, EDP, uh, that'll be like angels singing, as far as I'm concerned. And if they do everything in EDP, I can honestly see a day where, other than the Chambers products and the CBL products, that I can see myself almost exclusively using SV. <laughs> Those of you that know me know that'll never happen. Just one look at my dad, you can tell. Finished up with some uh, men in vintage talc. And that's my shave of the day. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, if you've not tried Sapo Vincio Varicino, do so. It's worth every penny. It's not cheap, but it lasts uh, forever. Um, couple of local um, or United States-based distributors do have it. Uh, I order it directly through them uh, just because I know how it's going to be shipped. A little bit more expensive that way, a little bit longer wait, but I like to support them uh, as well. I think uh, Maggard sells it. I think Gibson Care sells it. I think Fedrahan, no, Fedrahan does not sell it. There's a few places out there where you can get it, um, but if you haven't gotten it, try it. It's worth it. Hannah Barber Dave, another barbershop shave at home. Hope you guys have a great day.